as the Taiwanese military was holding a live fire artillery exercise, a Chinese warplane entered Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone ADIZ, during Tianlei Drill, which is part of the ongoing Hankuang exercises. The Chinese military aircraft suddenly entered Taiwan's ADIZ, at one point coming within 333 kilometers of the shooting range. The latest incursion marks the 20th time this year that Chinese warplanes have penetrated Taiwan's ADIZ. The Taiwanese military emphasized that it was closely monitoring all movements by China's armed forces. When the Chinese jet was at 4,000 meters, Taiwan's military then sent an emergency broadcast informing the aircraft that it had entered the southwest corner of Taiwan's ADIZ. The broadcast then notified the jet that it was affecting Taiwan's flight safety and demanded it immediately turn away, which it eventually did. Meanwhile, the U.S. military has also made a statement during the Hankuang drills by dispatching U.S. Navy MQ-4C Triton reconnaissance UAVs to patrol the waters off the southeast coast of Taiwan. Indian Army is set to acquire spike anti-tank guided missiles from Israel to strengthen its capabilities on the border. This will be the Indian Army's second order of spike missiles from Israel. Almost an equal number of missiles and launchers were acquired last year under the then emergency financial powers given after the Balakot aerial strikes. The Army already has deployed an existing lot of these missiles on the Pakistan front and the next slot may go to the Chinese front. Even as the talks for disengagement are a Underway, Chinese troops have deployed its heavy weapons including tanks along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. Indian Army is also going to buy the Excalibur artillery ammunition from the United States under the same financial powers. Meanwhile, the Air Force is also looking to acquire a small number of unmanned aerial vehicles from Israel as they have to complete the numbers required. French defense manufacturer Thales will build 43 Bushmaster vehicles for the New Zealand Army at its Australian factory in regional Victoria. New Zealand will spend $75 million on 43 new Bushmaster armored military vehicles. The Bushmaster is an 11-ton, 4x4 protected vehicle with a 4-ton payload. The $75 million contract is to deliver five variants of the armored vehicle by 2022. A Thales spokesperson said the New Zealand government had selected a battle-proven and highly mobile vehicle that would bring a new level of capability and operability to the New Zealand Army. The five variants include troop carrier, command, patrol, support, weapons deployment and ambulance. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe if you like the channel and want to support please support on patreon or paypal the details are given below in the description